A sum of rupees eighteen thousand seven fifty is left by a will by father to be divided between two sons of twelve years and fourteen years of age, so that when they attain maturity at eighteen year, the amount that is principal plus interest received by each at five percentage simple interest will be same. Find the sum allotted at present to each son. Here, the sum eighteen thousand seven fifty is divided between two sons of age twelve year. And fourteen year. When they attain the age of eighteen year, they will get the same amount. That is here, twelve plus six is eighteen. So twelve year old son get six years interest, and fourteen plus four is eighteen. So fourteen year old son get four years interest. Now interest received by the first son is equal to here five percentage is the rate for both the sons. So interest received is equal to six into five thirty percentage. And interest received by the second son is equal to four into five twenty percentage. Now you can see amount is equal to principal plus interest. If I consider principal as hundred percentage, and amount received by the first son will be hundred percentage plus interest is thirty percentage. That means here, when they attain the age of eighteen years, amount received by both the son will be equal. So amount one is equal to amount two. That means Here interest is thirty percentage, principal is hundred percentage. So one thirty percentage of principal one is equal to principal is hundred percentage and interest is twenty percentage. So one twenty percentage of the principal two. Now P one by P two is equal to here zero and percentage cancel. So this will become twelve by thirteen. Now twelve plus thirteen is twenty-five parts. This twenty-five parts is equal to eighteen thousand seven hundred and fifty in the question because principal for the first son and second son will be equal to eighteen thousand seven hundred and fifty. Now twenty-five goes seven times in one eighty-seven, remaining is twelve. So twenty-five goes five times in one twenty-five, remaining is zero. So one part is equal to seven fifty means. Twelve parts is equal to twelve into seven fifty. Seven fifty into ten is equal to seventy five hundred. Seven fifty into two is equal to fifteen hundred. So seventy five hundred plus fifteen hundred is equal to nine thousand. Then thirteen part is equal to thirteen into seven fifty, which is equal to nine thousand plus seven fifty, nine thousand seven hundred and fifty. So option C is your answer here. This is simple interest. That's why interest is equal to six into five thirty percentage and four into five twenty percentage because simple interest is same for every year.